what is going on guys and welcome to bootstrap tutorial in this video we're going to talk about pills and tabs in bootstrap but before we do that let me just show you a quick way how we can make a any list to appear actually in line so over here i'm going to be using emmet so i'm going to create a little bit faster dishonored list and i'm going to say that it would have like let's say five list items and all of them would have a anchor tag within and here i'm just going to say that this is going to be specifically five so if i press tab you can see that right away i have five list items right and here i'm just going to add them all of them to be a let's say href over here like this and here we're just going to create a name right so again i'm just going to go over here and just for the sake of writing something quickly i'm just going to write menu however what happens over here if we add a class over here like this and if we say that our class would be a list in line or here, you see what happens, right? It was actually displayed in the block just a second ago. However, if we add this class, you can see how nicely it actually appears in line. So that's a pretty little neat thing to actually do. Now let's go and check it out how we can actually create a tabs in a bootstrap. And the first thing, obviously, we would need to again to do, we would need to create a unordered list. So I'm going to say over here, unordered list. And again, let's just use Emmet, so it's going to be faster. I'm going to see list items, and they're all going to have anchor tags. But in this case, I'm just going to say that there's going to be, let's say, three of them, right? So we just uh, press tab over here like this. And now we have unordered list. Now what I will do over here, I'm going to all the time keep adding these line breaks so it's a little bit easier for us to see because they're all going to be uh, pretty uh, evenly looking right they're going to look pretty much the same so i'm going to create some spaces so we can see a little bit of a difference over here so over here if i go to my own order list if i just create a class of nav nav tabs nav nav tabs over here like this that you'll see that actually my links are going to be appearing as tabs so here again i'm just going to create these uh, hashtags i'm going to say hashtag and here we're going to say again like let's say link right this is going to be our uh, name of the link we're just going to say link right so now you can see how the tabs would look like right so as i'm hovering over here this is how the tabs in the bootstrap would look like now over here what i can do is actually i can add a class and i can say that the class is going to be active active over here and again we're going to click it away so our live preview is not messing up our view but you can see what happens if we have a class active right now we also can create a pills so only thing that i need to do over here i'm just going to click ok copy and we're going to paste it over here and we're going to say that uh, this is going to be not nav tabs, but this is going to be nav pills over here like this. And this is how the pills would look like. And you can see how the active pill would look like, right? So again, the difference over here would be this horizontal line, right? So the pills wouldn't have this horizontal line. Now, what we can do with pills, we can actually stock them uh, horizontally. I'm sorry, vertically. So if I'm going to copy this. And we're just going to paste that. And over here, if I would say nav stacked like this, you can see that they are going to be actually appearing over here uh, vertically, right? So this is what we can do. And just to show you how it would look like, let's say, with a couple of containers, I'm just going to create a couple of t containers and I'm going to say that I would want a div that has a class of container. Within that class of container, we would want a div of row over here. And you can see over here that actually I didn't need to write this div. I could have just written container. That's going to be my class. And just was trying to write that div so we so you understand what I'm doing. But basic idea is we can write this class over here. Then we can write this row. And then we can say within that row, we would want a four other classes, four other divs with a class of column over here, small. And this is what we're going to say. This is going to be three columns wide. And over here, therefore, we're going to write four like this. Now, if we press tab, you can see what's happening, right? I have a div that has a class of container. Then it's a row. 
and then it's uh, four columns that are spanning three columns wide on the small screen. So it's pretty much a typical bootstrap. It's just the Emmet allows us a little bit to, to actually save time, right? So and over here, if I would, let's say that I would copy this nav pill stack over here like this, and I would copy it in here. And after that, what I would wanna do over here, I would say that this is gonna be some text and this is also going to be some text so i'm going to write over here both of them then this is going to be a text like this and i'm going to say that this is going to be some text and now what we're going to do is you can see on a small screen obviously it wouldn't be a difference right however if i make my screen bigger you can see what happens right i have these nice uh, stacked pills over here and I have this some text, right? So this would be the other column. So this is the option that you can do is you can actually stock them over here vertically and you can make them side by side with other columns. Now, another thing that we can do with pills and with the tabs and even with the nav stack uh, pills, what we can do is we can obviously have a drop down menu. So over here, if we go over here with the nav pills and let's say I'm gonna pick this list item, right? And let's say that I would wanna create a drop-down menu. What I would need to do over here, I'm just gonna create a little bit more space. So again, we, we see what we're doing. And over here, I'm just gonna say a class, and this is gonna be a drop-down drop down over here. This is gonna be our class. And over here, we're just gonna have to add class over here of uh, drop-down, over here, a drop-down uh, toggle drop down toggle drop down you can see that i'm spelling wrong toggle and then we're going to say that a attribute data toggle over here toggle is going to be a drop down right and over here we can add a span that would create this triangle so i'm going to say span class over here and carry over here like this so now we have our little span but then we would need to create a an order list that would have a class of drop down menu right so we're going to say ul and the class is going to be drop down menu over here like this and here we're going to create again let's say i don't know four list items so i'm going to say list item and over here is going to be anchor tag and here we're going to multiply it by four and obviously what we're going to do is press tab and now we have over here our uh, drop down menu right so here i'm just going to say that again this is going to be hashtags over here like this and here we're just going to create the name and we're going to call this a sub menu so here if we write sub menu and you can see what happens as i click it over here i have my drop down menu and obviously what i want to do is actually show you how it looks like on nav stacked so here i'm just going to copy this pretty easily find where is my nav pill stacked you can see that this one right this is going to be our last one within the div so i'm just going to create a little bit more space so we can see better and we're just going to paste this and let's say if we go again and make our screen bigger you can see that we can obviously add our menu over here like this so this would be the idea right so this is how we could actually work with the drop down menus and with the pills and the tabs, right? So we're pretty much repeating what we already uh, actually looked at in the previous videos. It's just in this case, we're looking how it actually combines with other elements. And the last thing that I would want to show you is a dynamic pills and tabs. So over here, what, I'm, what I would want to do, I would want to create a little bit more uh, space over here. And I'm just going to say that this is going to have a line break, right? So I'm just going to create some line breaks. And over here, I'm just going to create some line breaks also. So I'm going to copy this. Just because I don't want to delete any of this over here, what we already uh, did. And what I'm going to say that I would want to create a UL over here on our list with the class. Over here, I'm going to say that this is going to be nav nav tabs right so i'm just creating simple tabs right now now after that what i would want to do this is going to be our tabs over here i'm just going to close this drop down menu and what i would want to do over here 
I would want to create a list item over here and I'm going to say that this is going to have a anchor tag and over here an href, right? The difference, this href wouldn't be a hashtag, it actually would be a, let's say, a destination, an ID. So what I'm going to say that this is going to be a ID named home and don't worry about it where it's coming from, you, you'll actually see it in a second. So over here I'm just going to write home and what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this three times. And here I'm going to say that this is going to be info, and this is going to be info, info over here, and this is going to be survey, survey, and this is going to be survey, survey. So now I have home info survey, right? And you can see that I'm creating over here these IDs, right? And what is the reason for these IDs? Well, you can see that right now I have nothing over here, right? I have pretty much a couple of tabs, right? But what I would want to do, and I would actually want to create a, this content. So over here I would create a div, and I would give it a class of tab content, tab content, content, over here like this. And then I would say that this would be my first ID. And over here I would write this div with ID of home, right? And we can obviously name this ID whatever we want. It just makes sense if we're using this for our uh, tab to actually use the same name over here, right? And here we would need to add the class because it is a bootstrap. So over here, tab, and we're going to say pain over here like this. And not phys physical pain, like this, pain and fade. So this is going to be another class. And over here, what we want to do is actually create, uh, actually place this content, right? So here I'm going to write that the content would be a, let's say, h3. Over here I'm going to say that this is going to be home. And over here we're going to say that this is going to be, let's say, a paragraph over here. And this is going to be some text about home. right? So now you can see that we have created this div. And we can place pretty much anything in it. We could place an image or anything what we want. I just chose over here this text. So what I would want to do, you can see over here this div, and I'm just going to copy this, and we're going to create a new lines. We're going to paste it here, and we're going to paste it over here. And here we would actually change this, right? So we would say info. This is some text about info. And here we're going to say that this is survey. And this is some text about survey. So now let's check it out what happens. So let's say I'm going to create a couple of more line breaks, right? So maybe we can see even a little bit more better. So copy and paste. And now you can see what happens. If I go over here and press, nothing happens because I probably messed up on something, right? So now I would need to decide where actually I uh, did something wrong. And the reason for that is I actually didn't have this data toggle. So what I would need to do over here, I would actually create a attribute data toggle over here and I would need to say tab, right? And actually I would need to add to all of them. So I'm just going to copy this. I'm just going to say copy and I'm going to create more space. And this is going to be our attribute that we're actually adding. So what we need to do is create this href with an ID over here, this direction home and obviously home is matching this id so it knows when, when we're clicking this link this list item it actually knows to go and find this content over here and over here we need to add this attribute of data toggle tab so what happens is you can see what happens right as i click info as i click survey uh yeah probably did something wrong over there i didn't create space or something that's why they're not showing because, oh, no, because my idea over here is not the right one. So over here I would need to create info. That's going to be my ID. And this over here is going to be survey, right? That's, that's where they were actually appearing. They were just actually appearing the same ones. So if I click over here, home, info is going to be here and survey is going to be here. So this is how we can create a dynamic tags. Now what I want to show you, the last thing actually, well, this was actually one before last, is how to actually 
create them so they're actually spanning across the screen evenly. And the way we would do that is let's say, let's again find our simplest ones, right? Nav, nav tabs. So I'm just going to copy them again like this. And we're just going to go all the way here. And we can do the same thing with the pills, right? So again, we just created, you can see these simple ones, right? So again, let's let's just copy this some more times. So we have more space. And over here we have these three tabs, right? Now, if we want them to be actually appearing evenly on a screen, all we would need to do is actually add nav justified over here. And now you can see what happens in a smaller screen. They would be appearing the same, only the text would be in the middle, right? Uh, like this. But on a bigger screen, you can see what happens, how they're actually justified, right? They're actually spanning evenly all the cross, right? So again, let me just put my a live preview somewhere else. So these would be on my tabs, right? And you can see how they're spanning differently, let's say from these ones, right? And if we go to the smaller screen, right, these ones stay the same, but these ones would be actually appearing as a block all the cross, right? And we can obviously do the same thing over here with a pills. So I'm going to say over here pills, and it would be the same thing again. They're spanning all across uh, as a, like a block on a smaller screen. And on a bigger screen, again, they would be appearing something like this. Uh, this is going to be it for this video, guys. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.